What's up guys, welcome back to the Glove Drop. Today, the New York Rangers played game one of the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. They took on Washington at MSG and it was a really good time for me and everybody else if you're a Rangers fan. The Rangers in net had Shesterkin and in net for the Capitals was Charlie Lindgren, who is Brian Lindgren's older brother. And apparently they're not talking until after the playoffs, which makes sense to me. It was a somewhat physical start to the game. You would expect that being the playoffs, but it was called very tightly. The refs were really calling a lot. And you started to see on both sides, players kind of holding back, not completing any of their hits. And in that first period alone, even despite the fact that we weren't seeing the types of hitting that I would expect in a playoff game, the Rangers and the Capitals each had two power plays and there was a four on four event. So that first period was really mainly special teams play. The Capitals could not really get anything going offensively, at least in terms of being able to get a shot off. They only had four shots on goal during that first period. The New York Rangers, on the other hand, had seven, but it wasn't really like seven because there was eight blocks. The Rangers were putting the puck on the net, but the Capitals were stepping up and that is one of their strengths, that defensive strength of the whole team, just the willingness to get in front of the puck. And that's exactly what they did. The Rangers still managed to do that as well, though. They also had six blocks in that first period. And we wrap up the first period with no goals scored in what seems to be two teams kind of waiting for the other team to pull the trigger. The second period begins, and I don't know what was said, but the trigger was pulled. The trigger was pulled four minutes and 17 seconds into that second period. Who else but Matt freaking Rempe? I don't know if there was any betting on who was going to be the first Ranger to score the first goal in the playoffs, but I don't know if anybody had Matt Rempe on their little bingo card, because I sure as hell did not. But the play goes with Rempe. He's exiting the Ranger zone, heading in, and he gives a nice little give-and-go pass. And with some quick passing around the net, he finds himself then right back front, right in front of the crease. Great pass by Jimmy Vesey. Sets him up, and he buries it. Keeps going. Jimmy Vesey will throw it behind the net. And then one little, couple little passes, and there's Rempe to put it in. The Rangers take the 1-0 lead. 33 seconds later, we see a huge hit by Alexi Lafreniere on Iorio. Puts him right into the boards. I feel bad for him because you could tell that his shoulder was dislocated. It was a clean hit, but he still dislocated his shoulder. He skated off like that. You know, when you're like holding your arm? I don't know. If you could just tell. And that's exactly what it was. It was dangling in the wind. But it worked out for the New York Rangers because that pass prevented the Capitals from clearing their own zone. It caused a turnover. The turnover then was passed out to Vinny Trocheff and then to Artemi Panarin. And he beats Charlie Lindgren. Rangers are up 2-0. Only he played less than two minutes in the first period. It was a hard hit by Lafreniere. He goes into the boards and that quickly. And then a minute and 33 seconds later, once again, we're seeing this fourth line come up big. There is a huge faceoff win by Goudreau. He gets the puck out to Jimmy Vesey and Jimmy Vesey sails it right back in. It was about this. And just beautiful. It was the three minutes I've had in a really long time. That's so many jokes can be made about that. But yes. <laughs> and uh, the Rangers take a 3-0 lead. After that, we do see the Capitals put on a little bit of pressure. They have some also quick passing in the zone. Pass from Protus out to Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson fires it towards the net, and it is deflected in by Faravee, which the reason he was open, Mika Zibanejad fell out of position. Zibanejad fell out of position, and then he couldn't get himself back in time to block the shot or block the opportunity for the shot, and then uh, it did bounce off of Mika Zibanejad's leg. So the puck all the way around, and the quick passes, and Faravari, who is... But that's okay. The Rangers still have a 3-1 lead. The third period, the play seemed much more similar to that in the first. There was a ton of... It was just a back-and-forth game. There was no real continued zone presence on either side. There was uh, Rangers had a little bit more of an offensive edge, but again, it was just back-and-forth and back-and-forth, and, back and, and you didn't really see too much of the full-blown hard hits. And I think it is because both teams were concerned about penalties. But with three minutes and 43 seconds left, Mika Zibanejad gets the puck. There's a great defensive play by Roslovic. He sends it up to Mika Zibanejad, who then in a outlet pass has Chris Kreider flying, absolutely flying, does not break stride at all, collects the pass 
up the left wing and he scores beautiful. It was a beautiful goal too. It was a fake out and then boom, sorry Charlie, it, not today. Come back in front, intercepts it, now gives it to Zibanejad who looks up immediately and there's Kreider blazing down the left wing. Chris Kreider scores his 41st playoff goal of his career and the Rangers have the 4-1 lead. Time runs out and the New York Rangers take the 4-1 win. I think it was a great game. I would have loved it if they were not in the box as much. I would have loved it if we saw a little bit more of that aggressiveness, that edge that we've seen the Rangers play with. But I think because the refs were calling it so tightly, it was kind of holding everybody back. But other than the amount of time spent in the box, I think the Rangers played great. The fourth line was there big time tonight. They were the most important factor in this win with two goals and three assists. And all three stars of the game were from the fourth line. You got Rempe, Goudreau, and Jimmy Vesey, who took the first star. The Rangers outshot Washington 31 to 21. They went 0 for 2 on the power play and 4 for 4 on the penalty kill. And they managed to rack up 21 block shots. So the next game is Tuesday back at MSG at 7 o'clock, game two. So I will see you guys all in the next one. I'll have a video up after every single game. I'm also going to be putting up a video at the end of each week to give an update on what happened in the playoffs all throughout the league. If you've just come across this and you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you thought about tonight's game. Do you agree with me that they weren't playing as physical or do you think I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about? We'll see. Probably going to get a couple of those, but it is what it is. So I will see you guys all in the video after that. And in the meantime, let's go Rangers. <laughs>